It is an extremely sad day, uh, I just think, for sports in general and, and basketball, not just women's basketball. And, you know, uh, Pat Summit built women's basketball, you know, and, and now we're enjoying it and have the privilege to work in it today because of her and what she's done for everyone. Um, you know, and, you know, when I was growing up and I was playing and you, you just, Pat was a person that you wanted to hopefully play for one day. I mean, she just was magnetic. And, you know, obviously I played here at Purdue, had a great situation, but then when I got into high school coaching, she'd open her doors for us to come in, you know, um, to go and watch her practices. And, you know, a lot of people don't always do that. So, you know, I went to her practices like every year when I was a high school, high school coach. And um, just learned how she dealt with young women and extremely intense. Um, they talk about her blue eyes, just, she didn't have to say anything. I mean, you could see that, but when you're going and you're seeing how, how women are built and basketball is built and how she did it from such, I mean, just from scratch. Um, and so she touched my life every day um, because I always wanted, we all want to be like her. We want to have that legacy. We want to, she has put the foundation for all of us coaches to try to follow suit. Uh, you know, I mean, every yeah, everybody's talking about she's the John Wooden, and mm -hmm. she is. I mean, Pat Summit will always, she will never be forgotten. Um, she has left her footprint. It's kind of like the greats. Michael Jordan's never forgotten. John Wooden is never forgotten. Pat Summit um, has set a legacy and a, the highest standard for all of us. And when there wasn't much for women's basketball, you know, she built the foundation. She built the championship. She she pretty much built all the goals that we all want to achieve every single day. Oh yeah, you know, uh, we had that opportunity here and yeah. Candace Parker was a senior that year and Lindsay ended up being out that year, right. you know, to ju but just to, um, you know, just know that you're, you're going against a legend and you want to try to continue your career and follow in those footsteps. And uh, she set the standard so high for everybody and it's, and it's not about winning the championships, it's how she went about doing it and the timing that she did it. And, you know, you, you see her former players just talking about her and it doesn't, they don't talk about basketball much. It's about how intense she was and that she was going to build you as a woman and use that foundation. And that's, you know, those are, those are my skill sets. Those, those are things that, you know, I try to embrace every day. You know, the, the something that's the most unique uh, about Pat is when she walks into a gym you know she's there. Mm -hmm. There is a presence, an aura, a magnetic um, force. She, it's hard to describe, but when you were, if I was a coach, if I was a player, whatever it is, you might not even be viewing that she's walked in the door. You could just feel it. And um, no one else has that, you know, and, and that's something that was priceless. And, and then the other story I have is when uh, the Virginia Tech young woman um, had bacterial meningitis and she ended up becoming an amputee and, and lost some of her limbs. Um, I still remember us. I was in Washington, D.C. and I was coaching at James Madison University and, um, you know, Pat walked in and I mean, everybody just knew she walked in, you know, and she was watching and, and that young lady was there and she was on crutches and using her prosthetics and she wanted to meet Pat Summit. And some coaches, you know, everybody thinks Pat's so tough, and she is, but she's got the biggest heart and is just so warm. And, you know, someone went up and asked Pat, and she just totally left, spent five to ten minutes with this young lady, and that's what Pat's about. I mean, it's special. I mean, I, I you know, I always tell you, I don't take it for granted, you know. I mean, Pat was at Tennessee for years. You don't see that a lot anymore. And, you know, it's just the loyalty and the support, uh, the pride. And, you know, like Pat always says, you need people around you that believe in you. And I appreciate the administration and everyone at Purdue that we do it the right way. And we're going to have championships on and off the court. But, um, you know, I, I, I'm honored and I'm excited about my continued journey here with everybody.